Hi everybody, it's me again. I'm here to do my what feels like bi-yearly uh, channel update. I haven't done one of these since December of last year, so it's been quite a while. I don't really have much to update you on, but I thought it would be nice just to say hi and to talk about a couple of things. So the first thing is, at the beginning of the year, I got a bunch of new fun equipment and I've done some upgrading. Um, so I got a brand new computer which can run pretty much any game on ultra high quality settings, which is great for streaming. I was having a lot of difficulty streaming games like Rise of the Tomb Raider, for example, on my old computer and I was only able to use like medium or high settings. Um, but my computer really couldn't handle a lot of processing. It couldn't handle uh, rendering really, really quickly, streaming, all of that type of stuff. So I no longer have those issues. I streamed a Plague Tale a week or two ago and it went smoothly. I had no problems whatsoever. Could play on ultra high settings. So it's going to be much more useful to me now because I can render things more quickly. I can stream better with fewer interruptions and stutter and things like that. I also got myself a new mic. I'm having problems using it right now. So I'm just with my good ye old faithful Yeti microphone that has served me for like the last six, seven years. I love this thing. Um, but I got the blue uh, ice microphone. I'm hoping I can get this to work, but this like the sound is super, super, super low. Um, if I do get it to work, we might see a difference in my voice quality. I really don't know. So that's exciting. Um, I also got the Elgato capture card. Uh, this was all just kind of stuff that was thrown into my computer build that I could throw in as um, like extras when it shipped and I thought well that's a good idea so I can record off of console and not just PC so that opens up some opportunities and I'm pretty excited to actually use this thing and with a new computer I'm now on Windows 10 um, and I also upgraded my version of Sony Vegas. I bought a version, a legitimate version of uh, Sony Vegas from a Humble Bundle like ages ago and I was just waiting for a new computer. Um, so I've done a lot of upgrading. I haven't really used a lot of it yet, um, but the capability is there. I'm, I feel really old when it comes to technology and learning new things like I just don't like to do it um, so it's going to be a bit of a process but uh, streaming and doing the YouTube channel and stuff like that are ways to get me interested and to push me to learn these new things so you may or may not see a difference in quality of course I'm using my webcam from like 2011 because I never used this stupid thing um, but I have made a bit of an effort to step up on quality um, for certain things so I hope that uh, I'll be able to do more things and um, possibly do more on console not just on Steam and just integrate some more things and possibilities into the channel and also for streaming. Aside from that, I've really just been taken along. There's not much to say. I've been doing Sunshine Islands, I think, for the last three or four months now. It's been going on for quite a while. Um, I just uploaded part 45 and I have 72 parts recorded. So I'm really highly motivated to play it. I've really been enjoying myself. I've been off of work for the last three weeks because I injured myself. Um, so that's been a way to make me feel really productive during a time when I can't 
go out and work. Um, so it's been going along really well. I've been getting some good support from everybody. It gets lots of views and I really appreciate your support. However, um, because I have 72 parts recorded and I don't see an end to it uh, anytime soon, I don't want to just play Sunshine Islands all year on my channel. Like, I just don't want it to be the only thing I do all year because who knows, I might end up doing that. It might take me 150 parts to finish it. I hope not. Um, but if it does, we're probably looking at six, seven months worth of uploads if I keep uploading them every um, two to three days. So my options are to speed up the uploads, upload them more often, um, just to get everybody sort of caught up, or to start a new project. Uh, part of the issue with recording so far in advance is you run into a problem where if you really, really, really genuinely want feedback on something, you have to wait for that feedback video to be uploaded so people can take part in it. And one of the issues I'm running into now is in that game, I want to do another viewer poll of who I should marry in the game. Uh, I did this for Tree of Tranquility, but with Tree of Tranquility, it was the complete opposite. I was falling behind, and sometimes I wouldn't upload for five or seven days um, just because I would get behind and not have time for it. So now I'm like, oh, I'm way too far ahead. I need to stop recording and do something else or take a break so that people have the chance to um, catch up. So what I'm thinking now currently is I'm thinking of doing a small manageable project on the side while I wait for my Sunshine Islands uploads to sort of catch up to speed with where I am in recording. So I'm going to put a little slide into this video of just a few games that I have um, kind of in mind that I might want to do for the channel. So these are just a few examples of a few games that I've been thinking I would like to do. I would like to do the second costume quest. Uh, the first costume quest was a lot of fun. I got some really good feedback on it and I always had plans to do the second one. Uh, Tacoma is another very, very short indie title that would not take me very long at all. It was something um, that I enjoyed playing in my free time that I wouldn't have an issue doing a let's play of. And Firewatch is very similar. It's a longer game than Tacoma, um, but it has really great visuals. It's kind of a nice story to it, and uh, it was just a nice kind of relaxing game that's fairly easy to get through. I've been saying for probably three or four years that I've wanted to do The Walking Dead Season 2. I don't know that there's really any point in doing that anymore because Telltale has shut down and there's so many Walking Dead games that have followed that I'm so far behind with that. But I have even still to this day have held off on playing it because I still have every intention of doing a let's play of it blind because I've never actually played it. Um, so that's another option. And then finally, I purchased a game called White Knight, which I think would be very, very interesting. Um, it's something that I've thought about and uh, it's a genre of game that I really enjoy. And again, it's got some really great visuals and I think that it would be a fun little addition to the channel. The Steam Summer Sale is happening and I don't want to go nuts and buy a bunch of games, but if there's any games that you guys can think of that you think I would enjoy 
something that would be easy to play, something that would make a great fun little filler thing um, for the channel that I can work on while I work on uh, Sunshine Islands, then please let me know. These are just some suggestions, some things that I sort of had in the back of my head uh, personally to do. Uh, and I will think of more things and, and possibly add them to the list as well. And that's, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to say. Nothing really changes with me. Again, this is just a hobby for me. This is not my full-time job. It's, you know, it's not something that I have to work eight hours on. I'm like, I gotta get my views up. I gotta gotta make that money. Nothing like that. This is just something I do for fun. Um, but again, it's something I really enjoy doing. It's something I'm really proud of. It's, um, it's something that just makes me feel really good. So I would like to keep on continuing. Um, and I just want to add a little bit of variety to the channel. I don't want to fall into that trap of just being a Harvest Moon channel. I know that's kind of where my viewership and um, my subscribers and if I want to make money that's where it's at but that's not necessarily what makes me happy um, Harvest Moon games are a lot of work they're very labor intensive because they're so long there's so much content to cover um, so I can't do too much of them because I will just get burnt out completely um, I should also mention too that I got my uh, DS emulator working. I did mention this in the um, December update, but I did get the DS emulator working so that I could play Sunshine Islands. So I'm not opposed to playing retro games either. So if there's um, some sort of retro game that you guys can think of, you can add that to the list. Keep in mind, I don't want to play any long... RPGs, those type of games like Fallout, Skyrim, uh, Dragon Age, those types of things I would probably stream. They're much easier to just stream for a couple of hours rather than having to worry about covering a whole lot of content um, in video format. I don't really play shooters um, and it has to be something that I can commentate on because there's certain games it's like I like to play them but I don't really have any sort of uh commentary to add to it so I'm open to suggestions um keep in mind they are just suggestions it's not like a a, a yes definitely no definitely not sort of thing um I'm always looking for fan feedback I really appreciate it and I will leave all of my links down below if you're new here or you want to see where else I hang out. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I have my own Discord, which I never check because Discord is like a new thing to me. I'm like an internet grandma at this point. Um, and I also have a Patreon. So I will leave all of those links for you guys below. I look forward to hearing all of your suggestions. Um, please let me know. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to improve the channel. Um, if you're really liking Sunshine Islands, let me know if you're at a point right now where you're like, nah, I don't want to watch it. I'm not watching anything. I'm waiting for something new. Let me know. I appreciate all your feedback. And uh, that's all I really have to say. The world's a really ugly and horrible place. I mean, on a good day it is, but right now it is especially awful. So I hope everybody is staying safe. I hope everybody is staying healthy. Please look after yourselves, look after your loved ones and your friends. And uh, I wish everybody nothing but the best. I hope you're all doing well and uh, hopefully I will read your comments and I'll be able to provide some more content sometime very very soon so thanks for watching everybody much appreciated as always and uh hope to talk to you guys next time